it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new post review for Moon Owl Magic. I'll give you my top three good and my top three not so good uh, reviews on this painting. So stick around with me. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. I also put upload information on my Instagram page. I'll be sure to put that link in the description box below. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so we're going to get into this square diamond painting from Diamond Art Club. This is Moon Owl Magic. It is a 51 by 51 centimeter by Christina Barton. Um, some of the information that I have uh, is not like quite right because I didn't document when I started this painting. I know it was this year. I believe it was after school ended. So I don't know. It could have been a little bit before. It could have been a little before school ended, but I don't have an exact date. I really don't think that I started this in June. And the reason why is because I took a long break from it and I started doing other things like other diamond paintings and I was coloring and all that type of stuff. So my thought process is, is that I stopped it right when um, Summers with the Masters, Summer with the Masters started that event. I think that's when I stopped it, but I don't remember when I started it. <laughs> I didn't write it down in my, my journal. So I did finish it though on July 19th. Um, this is a square diamond painting. Uh, basically, it looks really good. It really looks good. But of course, you know, with all diamond paintings, you kind of look at them from a distance. So it's supposed to look awesome. The ABs look great the colors are beautiful i think the owl just looks amazing but i did want to go um over a few things that i experienced with this diamond painting um as most of you all know squares are not my favorite i struggle with them a whole lot and if anyone is thinking why why is it such a struggle it's because um, when you're so used to doing rounds, uh, laying down the square drills to me have to be laid in a certain way in order for them to have the right pattern. Like they're supposed to click in place. And when your spacing is off, then you know you can really see it. With the rounds, it's not so much like that because you're going to have some spacing and you'll you'll know it when you see it. With squares, you really shouldn't have, have that because it's four equal size. This painting, I did have um, some issues with the spacing. So that's one of my three, one out of the three issues that I had was the spacing. So my thought process is this painting here is actually a newer painting with the older square drills. That's what I think because they really should kind of like snap in place once you're putting them down on the canvas. And this one, though, no. not all the way, like they're spacing on here. Um, the next thing was I didn't run out of any colors. Um, all the drills were there. I had uh, plenty of drills left over. That wasn't an issue either, but... There were what I thought quite a few drills that kind of had the holes in them, like the cottage cheese effect. That's what also made me think this was an older diamond painting. I'm sorry, 
not an older diamond painting, but drills. The drills were older. Um, they weren't the new drills and they might have been drills that they were just kind of trying to wean out because, and I'm sure I have some on this canvas, even though I tried to pick through them, that they had like the, the holes in them, which most of us say is like cottage cheese. <laughs> Swiss cheese. Oh God, Swiss cheese. So I got that. And to be honest, I really sat here and I thought and thought, those were really my only two actual issues that I had with the this painting. I mean, I like it. I think she turned out really good. I do. I like it. Even looking in the camera, it looks so nice and sparkly. Um, the things that I really liked about it, the imaging and the rendering, of course, is one. She came out exactly like she was supposed to. I mean, her face, the owl, the details in her hair, her hat, uh, the shadowing, all of that looks great. I thought the, um, it was very extremely close to what the artist had. Also the size, perfect size for me, 51 by 51. It wasn't too big, it wasn't too tiny. So this was a really good size for me. I appreciated that. And I also appreciated the skin tone. I did not feel like the skin tone came off as being red, especially like in here. I did not feel like it came off as being red. I felt like it came off as literally coffee with cream. That's how it looks to me. It did not look where you see some drills and they're supposed to be made for people of color and literally it's a red drill, you know? So I appreciated that and I thought it looked really, really good. Um, I did take the break with this painting to work on another round painting. It was more because I was getting kind of stressed out and frustrated with was I doing it right? And I think that's just me being hard on myself. So if you are a person, I'm talking to you, who struggles either with the squares or the round, it doesn't matter which, I think you should keep practicing with it. That's my plan is to just continue to practice with it to get uh, my hands used to it with the single placement, multi-placer. I did use a multi-placer because there was um, a quite a bit of color blocking, as you can see in her face. So there in her forehead and things like that, her hat, I did use a four uh, placer. For those areas, I did not go above a four. And I normally don't do that even with rounds. I usually stick with a four. That's just what's most comfortable for me. But I wanna encourage you guys to keep trying it. And that doesn't mean you have to go out and buy a bunch of that type of diamond painting that you're struggling with, you know, but just keep it going. I was doing very small, very small, like 30 by 30s, really small snack size. Um, diamond paintings just to kind of get my hands used to doing the squares and it's paying off it's paying off so hopefully well i know i will i'll be doing another square this year so that is the plan but i just wanted to let you guys see what this one looked like where your drills be like mine i don't know but i do know that they have all new square drills now so I know their newer releases shouldn't have the issue, but I could tell with this in particular painting that it was a newer painting, but older drills. And also because what was it? And you guys can leave me a comment and let me know if I'm wrong. If I'm not mistaken, the canvas, okay, the rendering on the canvas was just a smidgen bigger than the old drills for placement. So it was like, this is just an example. 
at the square size on the painting was um, a penny, but then the old drill size was a dime. So it was something, it's kind of characterized that way. And so that's why I kind of have the spacing on the painting. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna let you go. I just wanted to give you guys a really quick post review, let you know what I thought, how I felt about the painting, which I really, truly, honestly do like. I think she came out awesome. I think the artist did a great job and Diamond Art Club did a great job with the rendering. Um, if you have done this painting, give me a thumbs up. And if you stay to the end, please leave me an owl emoji. Thank you all so much for watching and remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.